The last long weekend of the summer is nearly here, bringing no shortage of things to do in and around the city. Be mindful, though, that getting around will likely get that much trickier. Our Catalina Gillies has more on what to expect this Labor Day weekend. There is no shortage of things to do in the city this weekend, whether you want to soak up the sun at the beach, head over to the island, or explore one of the city's cultural gems. With the nice weather we're expecting this weekend, the city is encouraging people to hit up any of the public beaches or visit outdoor pools or splash pads. Toronto Island is also a popular long weekend attraction, and the city strongly encourages residents and visitors to plan ahead. Peak travel times to the island are between 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and peak travel time for return trips to the mainland are between 5.30 and 9 p.m. Toronto History Museums, conservatories, cultural centres and municipal golf courses will also all be open but on limited hours. With several road restrictions and closures and an influx of people expected in the city this weekend, the city is encouraging residents and visitors to use transit to get around. The city is recommending to avoid travelling by car because traffic is expected to be heavy. Here's a clip with more info. Take a listen. So the TTC will be operating on its holiday schedule on Labor Day long uh, on Labor Day Monday and the Metrolinx and Go Transit will be operating on a Saturday schedule. That being said, their weekend schedule is quite exhaustive and so they do have a lot of uh, you know trains, uh, buses that are available for people. As I've mentioned before, on any given long weekend, the TTC is able to move over 4 million rides and that includes their streetcars, their subways and their buses. And so it is again a reliable service, it is an affordable service. And it is arguably the best way to get around. Um, in the city, the long weekends are obviously busy. We know that there is a lot of foot traffic. There's also a lot of vehicle traffic. And so in order to avoid vehicle traffic, in order to avoid getting stuck in traffic, we encourage everyone to take transit. It will be your fastest way around the city this weekend. And the city also wants to remind the public that fireworks are not permitted this weekend unless you have a permit with Toronto Fire. I'll send it back to you.